Hi, hi, I'm Gerald uh, from CE, and I like to make clay pieces, drawings, and I work on the computer. I like uh, making art. I started like first I did like to draw in like uh, books, and then I came into like CE, and then my teacher Jerry. She got, I think she's the one who got me more focused into like sticking to the details. Cause before I could draw okay, but now I'm getting better and better. And then it spread from my drawings to my clay pieces to my computers. I like mixing them all up. So people always ask me, which one do you like? To, which do you like the best? I say all of it, because I'm into all of it. I've been drawing since actually I was in first grade. So they helped me focus more on art as I was getting actually older into middle school and high school than college. And just afford it more until I got my degree in fashion and merchandising in college. Then I came to Creative Explorer. For me, the reason why I'm an artist because I got it from my mother, my grandmother, all it's, it's, it's in my family. That's what keep me going because my mother taught me how to do the clay and the sewing and all that stuff because she taught me. My artwork is very strong. I think I have brought power into San Francisco. When I say power, people got to start to noticing who I was and what I can do with something. There's a difference. See, I, I think I have brought power. I think I brought power and happiness to many people in, in the Bay Area because they have seen my artwork. They said, hmm, we're going to have to go see who he's about. I have put my stuff on everybody's product that you can think of, you know. So I think I'm sort of like an art psychologist. For me, as a self-taught artist, as a young kid, I've been drawing and stuff before CE. But then as a Black artist, I think it's kind of hard because it's hard to, you know, even show stuff in a museum or, like, at least it was saying get that credit and support. And sometimes everything is, I guess, you know, white watts. So it's like when people name these famous artists is mostly, you know, European art and painting. So you don't really see that, you know, support of black artists. And if you do is always have that, you know, reminded of a, Another European artist that I kind of like, okay, it's, it's good, but it's like, can we just have our own thing? It's, this is our time now that we need to be getting credit. It's time for us to be coming in the light instead of us being in the background every time. It's always, they put us in the back, in the background and not speaking up as of being an artist that, oh, this is my work. It's nobody else's. I think Black school is just very important and a good concept to know about and learn more about and to discover, um, not just um, Black people, but the cultural too and how and how it works, how black people, African Americans go beyond within the cultural and how it changes back then until now. It some of the things of back then is it keeps on repeating until now, especially, you know, all the cases of what's been going on with mm -hmm with the brother's name that died, George Floyd, and all, and, and how it changes everybody's perspective of view, definitely to make changes to become 
better within ourselves and together. And for the ones that don't know, especially that are, don't understand, to help them understand what the Black cultural means. It's, di it's like diversity. I think, I think the show is gonna be great. I just, I just, I just want people to be uh, happy. I think people down through the years have seen what I can do, you know. Mm -hmm. I think people have brought, clicked out their closet and brought stuff in and bought it back from me. You know, they seen some, oh, this is nice. I want these back. I say for a fair price. See, see, my work ain't cheap. Once a person get a piece of my work in their home, it brings joy to them. It brings joy. This series can tell a story by itself. I don't have to say nothing. I, and, and then somebody said, what is, the, what, is, what is the simplicity in the story behind it? I, I would say, each color just tells a story about how far I came, what, what, you know, how far I came from. In this time, nothing is impossible for me to do if I wanted to go for it. If I wanted to get a, a degree in liberal arts, I'll go for it. Somebody said, oh, you stuck on yourself. You just have your, you have your nose up there. You know what? I said, look, back it up, buddy. But I say, look, the stuff that you see is not, not as, not as nice as what I can con conquer, you know, come up with. So in other words, you talking too much, you ain't, you talk, you, you talking loud, ain't saying nothing. Oh, my inspiration, I think it comes from the heart. I think it comes from the heart because your heart is what guides you and what makes you. So when I'm drawing, I just put the heart into what I draw. Because if you don't, it's just flat. It'd be like a statue. Got to give them, got to give them a little bit of personality and a little bit of heart. It do the same thing with my play pieces. Because if you don't, it's just uh, flat. I'm getting there. I'm not the best, but I'm getting there. I think it's more. We need to have some, some thing that we need to have is is I culture sometimes we need to pull it out so people could learn how we went through as black people because we've been through a lot we've been through a lot a lot of them people don't realize and i think we should have some show of us some people need to see we the artists too not just other people you know we have to come out and speak up. We need to control this black, you know, the black folk, the real folk, because I think we get more credit. It's feel more powerful that we all come as a group. And and I think it's good that Danielle had put us together because it was more as attention to us not is just being an artist in the school and all that stuff that just keeping us being and I think because I know Joseph and JD we always hang out together but it's more as a being in a group but as being a black person in the group as being powerful and having fun and and not just because we are artists that we can also have fun out of the school and then hanging out. And not just us being an artist and not doing nothing. You know, I think we should be having these kind of groups to teach other people what we doing. And I think that's what would be more coming out that we the one who's teaching them. This group having a just, you know, every once in a, once or twice a month, just having a talk of like all the black artists and, you know, 
different um, ideas and for that to continue. I think we should just, you know, do something that recognizable and, you know, I think we need to kind of, you know, learn more about other artists because for me, I don't really know a lot of African American artists and to me, that's kind of sad. I just need to just do my more research and each, each time I keep learning, for me, I kind of learn with this group is that everyone always had their own style and, you know, we should just, you know, learn who we are. I think it's learning more of yourself and doing more of, of the art. I think the experience and the connection to what what takes place after the event, to who you connected with, that can work with you or a little bit more on your aspect of work, beautiful work that was shown in the show, that they can do more and, and become more um, available to you and to pay more attention in that way so you become even more experience and get known for your art diversely as an African-American artist and to proceed and follow up and build upon that history of your work um, to become something that you've achieved since you were young. Okay, I'm stepping up as being an artist and being a black artist, but also being around people who is artists too. And it's it's good to have like my friends as the with the artists and stuff that who's in the same the same art with me and everything else. And that is good to that we all get together and talk about it. And I think that's what's good to having us having this meeting because a lot of people don't want to speak up because they like want to be quiet as because they don't want to think they can think that we taking it over the business, but we not. We just want to be mm -hmm. the credit for our art. Let us let us speak what we need to learn more and then just let us if get us the opinion let us speak up if we want to have opinion we also should be able to talk together as a group and talk about it as the artist and talk about how we feel as being a black person i think we should be able to speak up and say stop no more. And I think they need to stop doing that. My mom taught me how to you know, look beautiful, love your skin, love everything about you. How like James Brown said, say loud, I'm black and I'm proud. And I think we should be the one that need to be proud as a black person. And as the person that we are, the artists to come out and doing our own thing.